Uh, good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. This is Mr. Fosnott. Um, just making a message this morning to try to explain some changes we're doing to the bus routes starting effective tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, January 3rd, first day of school back due to the uh, poor road conditions in the rural areas. Uh, bus drivers and I uh, met this morning uh, along with some guidance from um, County Emergency Management about the uh, poor condition of rural roads is Many of you are aware they're living out there. Uh, rural, road, rural roads are quite treacherous, um, very ice covered. And uh, do that fact and that we really, we can continue our routes uh, very slowly and think we can get around them safely, but we would be moving up our pickup times in the morning probably 30 to 40 minutes earlier, which is very early. Uh, in addition to that, then, I'm personally fearful that if once we get two or three kids on a bus and if we do run off the road, um, now I have uh, a lot of kids or many kids who are going to be behind schedule getting to school and really no way of getting that bus out of its stuck condition. Um, pickups and stuff are not able to really pull buses out now. We're going to need a chained vehicle or a tractor or, or a county vehicle and those are a little bit farther away when that happens. So. Um, effective tomorrow morning, we are driving pavement only uh, until further notice, morning and night. So I wanted to share that with you today, give you an idea. These are kind of approximate times. We're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit moving a little bit while we get used to it, but this is our plan for the near future. Again, uh, primarily for student and uh, vehicle safety for our buses, make sure we can keep them on the road. And uh, that's paramount. It's uh, it's going to be an inconvenience, I know, to each and every one of the families, and I, I'm sorry for that, and I uh, appreciate your help on this. Uh, I know it's just really tough out there in the rural areas, and I do appreciate your help. So what I have for you is basic routes and pickups shown on this video and uh, morning pickup times. So to help explain, uh, since you, it's kind of probably hard to understand, I'll start with Route 1. Okay, Route 1, uh, Steve Peterson's route, would start in Menango, okay, and he would have a pickup point in Menango. Look for the bus. We're figuring about 7.20 in the morning. And he's going to go down 281. So he's going to stop at Pernsteiner's, obviously, uh, stop at Rails, 7.40, stop at, uh, I think, the Ketterling Corner, or I think that is uh, County Highway 92, um, around 7.50. Uh, then at the uh, corner, uh, Weedle Corner at 8 o'clock and then 810 on the north side of town. We have a couple families there, so approximately that time. So if you can, families, meet us at one of these pickup points. I don't care which one about that time, and uh, we'll give you a few minutes at each one of those points to meet you and uh, and pick up your kids. Okay, so if we go to Route 2, Route 2 is going to um, start at uh, Street 100. Okay, that's clear out on the east side about 720. Then they're going to come work their way west, come over the hill, and they're going to be at the, I forget what county road this is, just west of the Anderson farm around 735. That'll pick up hopefully the Weary family uh, at 735. Then at Silverleaf at 740. Then they'll come into town, south of town, and be at the intersection of State Line 281 at around 8 o'clock. That way figure we have four families uh, going to be close to that. Naptons, Teagues, Larsons, and Hokanas and all over in that area. And we'll head north uh, into town at the Thorpes around 810, and then they're into town. Uh, if you go to Route 3, uh, we'll start in Maricourt around 730, and uh, picking up the Steinwands and work south to uh, 86th Street around 735, Miller 740, 745 on 92nd Street. Not really sure if we'll have anybody to pick up there, but if families out here in the middle want to work their way west instead of east, it's really your choice. I don't, we don't really care. Just be at one of those two spots about that time. Then we'll work uh, south to 11 and then stop at the Shimke corner about 755. Then at the uh, Hani corner about 8 o'clock and then Glen's 805 right in there right on the highway. Then if you go to 5, uh, we'll be way out here um, out in the uh, out in the hills about 7.15, uh, pick up the Schmidt family, um, or Schmidt family, about 7.15. Um, well, hopefully that time will work. And then we'll get out into Forbes around 7.40, and then the Olson 7.50. All those families the, uh, that are around the Forbes area, if you can meet, we're thinking probably around the, around the cafe, 
around there uh, at 740 time. We'll just meet there and uh, we'll head in from there. Then we have uh, 8 o'clock, 8.05 on the way in in town. Um, and I don't think Flynn's are picking up in the morning, but at night we could be dropping off and then the lake at 810. Okay. Um, if there's anybody in that area too. Uh, let's see. Then we're going to go to uh, 9, which is going to be a lot of these families out here in Silver Leaf and stuff are usually on bus 9, but not anymore. So we're going to start in Fullerton at 730. Whatever families want to meet in Fullerton uh, at 730. And I guess uh, Peterson's, we have you, uh, but I don't know if you're riding that much, but if you have a few others or if uh, the uh, any families to the west of Fullerton want to meet at 7.30 in Fullerton, that's okay. Just meet there. Look for less and bus nine. Um, I'm going to say right around the uh, um, cafe in town, right around the main street, we'll be picking you up. Then 7.40 out here by Henningsons on uh, the Oaks Road. And then south to uh, the Prey Pothole Road around 7.50 in there. And then 8 o'clock at uh, Barton's, 8.05 uh, at Norton's, right in there, uh, if you're riding in the morning, and then into town. So if you have questions, uh, please do give us a call at the school in the morning, um, and we'll try to help you. And uh, I think I will also put out um, information to call drivers. I'll probably post that on Facebook on your messages. So if you have to call a driver, you can. Just remember, this is Randy Hani in green. Uh, the blue is Les Hoffman. Steve Peterson's in red. John Beckus is in yellow. And Rick Wadholm is in this dark blue. If you need to get a hold of them saying, I'm going to be at a certain spot at a certain time, look for me or, or make an adjustment, please do call them and uh, call them directly and let them know. So we'll see how this works tomorrow morning. Um, thank you for your time.